a minute. Are you ugly? Oh, yeah. That's where your tongue is with all the stuff at. Yeah. Oh, wait. Let me go turn this. <laughs> My lighting is kind of horrible. Oh. Okay, y'all, I forgot. If you take one out, it cuts your camera off. But like I said. Oh. Uh! Well, guys, I'm going to redo it. Probably. Do it like I care? Because I don't, Sandra. You stop texting me. I'm trying. But not for real. I'm trying to set this camera back up. Can you be still? Hey, Y'all, let me tell you what happened. So my tripod that I just got two hours ago, but I'm trying to make a TikTok and threw like my phone and my tripod up. And it was like slow motion for a lot of going. Anyways, and it broke. And now it's messed up. And I'm taking that and be like, it was already broke when I got it. Oh my gosh. My phone might die. Hold on. I'm gonna take that one off. But anyways, let me show you my tripod real quick. Y'all see that? Like it's broke right here. Where where is bro? Right here. It's broke. My hands actually don't break. Yeah, but but now it's like uneven, so it don't like look right. All right, anyways, y'all, so, as y'all read from that, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm gonna keep the text. Gosh. There we go. Like I said, I don't speak, I don't speak broke no more. But, <laughs> I'm just fine, I'm just fine, I'm just fine. But anyways, I guess this tripod trying to say all y'all people who watching are too heavy for it to hold. Because every time I try to record, it's trying to say I'm ugly. Or it's trying to say y'all too fat to be watching me. So, y'all fat people need to get off my channel. I'm just because I'm fat myself. But, you know, you know the vibes. Come on, be still, you At this point, I'm about to make a video. I wish I've never made a stupid TikTok. Cause now it got me wrong. My tripod don't work no more. <gasps> My screen coming up. Anyways, as you read from that title, I am assuming you read that title, you know what the gag is. Alright, as you read from the title, I've been telling my story time on how my first time seeing prostitutes at the gas station. So, I'm turning my light. So, this is how it happened. It was a late night. Anyways, it was one night I was at my sister's house. And we decided to go to the gas station. Or to the corner store. You know, if you stay in the hood or the hood or the ghetto, you always have that one store everybody called the corner store. So, yeah, we went there to go get some snacks. Because we going to watch a movie that night. So, when we went, got to the gas station, we seen this white lady who was just going to people's cars. I don't know what she was doing, but you know what prostitutes are, I think. Here, here's the definition of prostitute. Here's some pictures of something. 
Y'all welcome. If y'all didn't know what that was. But anyways, basically we went to Stormy Sims White Lady. She was going up to this big truck. Like, you know how them trucks like they got like the back trunk space? Like here, just picture her truck. Yeah. Like that. She went to one of these trucks, right? And she was talking to him. So we walked to the store. And we just walked to the back of the store, buy the drinks and stuff, because we were going to get some drinks, some, you know, some chips, you know. We had a whole list on my phone of what we needed to get, so we just walked in there. And... I thought I heard this out. But, yeah, we walked in there, and we, we seen her come in. So there was this black dude who was in there. I think he was at the cash register. Yeah, he was at the cash register. Or, you know where the boy people he like, if you go to a corner store, it's like, mm, mm, excuse me, but, like, Boy peanuts and like boy peanuts and the icing machine, whatever. It's over there, like right close to the cash register. So he was in that area, right? And I guess him and that ooh, snap, 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 don't fall, don't fall. But him and the prostitute, there was I guess they was talking or something, I don't know. But it wasn't like an argument, a little argument. And she said the N word. Like she called him a black N. A black nigger. I'm sorry. But she called him one of those. And he got offended, but you know, he's a male. He can't fight women. Well, some males be fighting men. But somehow his girlfriend heard him, and she all about outside. So I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, but she was outside, and she was just sitting in the car. But at a corner store, most of the time the doors be open sometimes. But the doors happen to be open this certain time. And she had heard her say, oh my gosh, I was stuttering. But she had heard a white girl call her the, her boyfriend or her husband or whatever a N word. And she wasn't having it. She was not having it. She ran in that store so quickly. And I'm like standing like, mind you, me and my sister, we standing up here by the trench, right? And all we see is this black lady just run in and grab a white hero here, like grab a white lady, I'm not trying to race, but grab a white lady here, like snatch, like she's snatched like she snatched her. Like, ah, like she snatched her hair <laughs> she had snatched that like hard i was like and like me and my sister we just in there like like she had grabbed her like right her arm around like she had like got good grit and like just snatched that junk and just started bop bop just whamming bop <laughs> and her boyfriend was just looking at her laughing and stuff and then my sister just looking like and then the man, the storm owner, is the one who tried to like break it up or something. And when he broke it up, like we sent some hair, which I was gonna try to, clip, I mean, a video, not a clip, but like a picture. Before, cause I took a picture. I wanted to record it. Yeah, if I think I recorded it, but I have to see if I can find it. It happened this summer. I think it was in like early August, late July. But if I have a video, I'm gonna insert it right here, or a picture or something. Of her hair, this white lady hair, and she had like a ball spot. <laughs> she had, oh, look at my wigs. Anyways, off topic, she had a ball spot like, right here for when that black girl just snatched, like, just snatched. Like, that black girl got grip, but she had snatched it. And when they got broke up, the um black girl was like, B, 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 you call my husband in word again, you gonna get your B again. And then her husband was like, calm down, calm down, calm down. So he was trying to walk around the wall. This white girl, the prostitute, I think she was on drugs or something, cause she was just in there laughing, like she just didn't get her, just like she just didn't get beat up. Like she was up there, like, <laughs> you ain't gonna do nothing again. Like she was, I don't know, if she was special. I don't know, if she was on drugs, but she was just laughing, like she thought that joke was so funny. Like you just got beat up, and you think that's funny? And I'm expecting that message. But, yeah, she was just standing there laughing like it was funny. And you know how when, if you get in a fight or you're going to argue with somebody and you somebody start laughing in your face, you know how you get all offended. So that black girl got all hyped up again, ready to fight again. So that's when the store manager just kicked both of them out, just kicked them out. So the white girl, she was just standing there, and she met up with some two other prostitutes. So this time, it's three. It's two black ones and that white one that just got beat up. The man and her husband, they done gone. And I just seen them two, right? So me and my sister, we go and get in the car because we were like, at that point, we need to go to another corner store. We need to go to another gas station or whatever. So we got in the car, right? When I seen them, like, we was driving off, right? She was just looking at his point. And I was like, ew. Like, she was, this she was been trifling. She had her hand and her butt, been trifling, and her butt 
scratch her butt and smelled it in front of me. I was pouring my window down. I was like, ew, you is trifling. She's like, kee, 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 kee. And my sister drove off so fast. But that joke was nasty. And then the other two was just laughing like it's funny. And then, wait, yeah, the other two was just laughing. And then they look like, they look like, I don't know. They look like they made hell and back. Like, the black one, she was missing a couple braids out here. She had box braids, but she was missing a couple braids. The other girl, she had some a wig on, I think. It was a wig or like a sewing. She, they just look all tacky. And then the white girl, she missing some hair. And thought she was thought I don't know. She, I think she was on drugs though. But that was my like first time seeing prostitutes. And that jump, it was looking scary because that fight was like, uh -uh. that fight was crazy. Like when I seen them fighting, I was like, especially how the black girl was doing her. Like that black girl, like, like she, she's like, B. Ah, just snatched like she snatched it. It was like, five, five. Wow. <laughs> it was funny, like, she was just whamming her, and then she kicked her. So we got my eye. But then she had kicked her. But then she had kicked her and stuff, and then they broke them up, you know, you know, stuff. They broke it up, right? So, yeah. That was the first time I seeing prostitutes. Let me... Mm -mm. Hit me up with some more video ideas or what to do because I don't got no video ideas. So, I just decided to tell this story time of how I seen prostitutes at the corner store or the gas station. You want to be proper, you know. But if you stayed in, like, a ghetto area, you know that you always had that one corner store. That every... Congrats on your service terms. Bye, 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 bye.